Hello, my name is Simone Papernick and I work in the mental health program. Some of you might have seen the special on CNN a couple of months ago about the Peak family. This family experienced quite a tragedy uh, several years ago when their son James Peak committed suicide while attending high school. This family was devastated, but they came together and became advocates for mental health. Every year they put on a tournament in James Peak's name to raise funds to support mental health initiatives. They donate this money to the foundation at the hospital, and this money then has been dedicated to a social worker that's been placed in the school, the same high school that James Peak attended. So this social worker provides individual counseling and group counseling. And last year it was so successful that she's been brought back two days a week each year. Now, during the time from September to December, she saw 77 students individually and 96 students while she was working with groups. If you think about the positives for, uh, be, that come from this, they are enormous. If you think about how scary and intimidating it is to come and get counseling at a hospital or an institution, and how easy it is for a student to get counseling at their own school. Also, it normalizes counseling and getting help, which decreases the stigma. The other thing is that students start to drive their own health care. They don't turn to their parents for assistance. And if they need a referral to a psychiatrist or may need medication, that can be done very easily from our social worker to our psychiatrists on site. Thank you.